What is going on guys and girls, I'm back with another fight simulation, uh, this time it's for this weekend's third fight from the main event I guess, uh, we've got Leon Edwards versus Nate Diaz, I'm looking forward to this fight quite a lot actually, uh, obviously being from Birmingham I do want Leon Edwards to win, but I'm not going to be sad if uh, Nate Diaz pulls away a win here, so honestly however this fight goes I'm going to be happy, I am looking forward to this fight and fingers crossed it should be a good one but I'm going to cut off the intro there guys sit back enjoy the fight and uh, I'll see you guys at the end of round one you have got to avoid the canvas I would think at all costs yes you have to and if the striker gets taken down he needs to make sure the only thought is to get back to his feet quick whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top you've got to make plan number one getting back standing and getting back to your space if not, you're going to find yourself tapping and really wondering why. Why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submissionist on us, huh? Ah, it's crazy. And they separate. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just over three minutes to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? And he caught the kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents. And this looks like the start of that. Well, this striker knows one direction. That is forward. He knows one style. That is aggressive. And that's exactly what we've seen tonight. He has every intent of overwhelming every guy he steps into the octagon with. And he's doing that up to this point of the first round. And he connects there with a punch. So pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it. And he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Diaz. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. He didn't oh. like that left hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, power tie. Oh, both. Both landed. And they separate. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Okay, so round one is in the books. Uh, very back and forth first round there. Very strong impression left by Nate Diaz in the last 40 seconds. Had Leon Edwards badly rocked, stumbling all over the place. So. I'd just about give that round to Nate Diaz. I think Leon Edwards was more effective on the feet. But uh, in my opinion, The Rock definitely put the round in the favour of Diaz. And, uh, Leon Edwards looking pretty beat up. Let's hope he can uh, rally and pull it back in the second round. Nice move to punch. Oh, a beautiful jab there from Leon Edwards. And if you don't know the name Leon Edwards... You're going to start to hear his name increasingly. Truly one of the better fighters in this division. Absolutely. And the reason you don't know his name is because he's more of a quiet guy. He's very reserved. He used to be at AKA for months. And you barely knew that Rocky was even there. He was just there to get his work in as he's doing his work now inside the Opera. Got the same Swing and a miss by Edwards. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. That's high here. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. 
right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, nice. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just over two minutes to go. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the... Oh! Oh! Man, look how flexible those legs are. He's got him in rubber guard. I don't think I can do that. Much. Oh, you got to watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Oh, wow. This might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. Very interesting That's round two free. there. Leon Edwards sure. did, in fact, rally and definitely came back strong in that round. Face still looking very beat up, but he definitely won that round. Two drops, both with the left hand, I think. So that was definitely a huge round for um, Leon Edwards. Dropped Nate twice. There was a lot of ground control um, on both ends, really. But it was very much due to uh, both of those drops and Leon Edwards going to the ground. So yeah, I've got the scorecards right now. It was 19-19 going into the third round, so... Whoever wins this round in my eyes wins the fight and there was a skip there so uh, we're straight into it guys. Let me know what you think, well who you think is winning so far because right now it's looking like a strong start to the round for Leon Edwards. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Lands flush with that right hand. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! He's in trouble, he's getting it up. Dude's hurt, serve him up, go get him. Oh, straight right. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, the numbers continue to pile up. 74 total strikes. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Diaz. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Edwards gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. 
Certainly a strong front runner for fight of the night as we go down to the wire here between these two combatants. They're both so skilled. They're both so prepared. We knew right away this is going to be a very evenly matched competition. Pretty good right hand. Try to establish that. That straight punch. That'll get his attention. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. And so the fight goes the distance. On my scorecard, I've got uh, Leon Edwards winning this by, what would it be, 28, 20, no, that's not right, 29, 28. Um, that's my personal scorecard. I definitely agree with the commentary there. This could be fight of the night if it goes down like this. It was a very close fight, and to be honest, I can see it being a close fight this weekend as well, but let's hear the judges' decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 9-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Leon Rocky so there you have it guys an early strong contender for fight of the night i'm very much looking forward to this fight guys uh this is the first fight simulation i've done for this uh, event coming up this weekend so i've got two more i've got the co-main event and the main event still to come guys hopefully i can get that edited and released for you today but we'll have to find out guys i hope you all enjoyed this video please leave a like if you did if you didn't by all means, feel free to leave a dislike down below. It really helps me understand what you guys want to see more of, maybe what you want to see less of. Um, feel free to comment your own predictions for this fight as well down below. I'd love to engage with you guys. And if you've got any suggestions for improving these videos, please do comment that down below as well. And if you're not already, guys, please do subscribe. I've seen massive growth since doing this series, so I want to keep that going. But that's everything for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I hope you all have... A wonderful day.